Hello everybody, welcome back to more XCOM Enemy Within and you know what we're doing today, unfortunately we're not going to get shaped armour because the second in the Annette storyline missions triggered and the second mission being the Furies. The first part was the one on the dam where if you succeed you rescue Annette who has 100% chance to be gifted and I believe you rescue three more people if you do this mission and all of them also have 100% chance to be gifted and if you don't know what that means, that means if you put them in the psionics lab they are guaranteed to be psychic. I think. Annette definitely is. I don't know about the other people you rescue here. But anyway, we're going to the Alps and we're going to rescue the people being captured. So I think the enemies are Exo on this mission. So let's go to it anyway. And I do have my A team. I don't because I'm currently being tested for psychic powers. So is Taya, I believe. So we may just have to go with this in. I want a sniper for sure. Alright, oh, you still don't have a respirator. Did I build one? I did! I forgot to bloom and equip it. Also, I really should have given you a scope. There, 102 aim and you've got a respirator so your HP is up. Yes. And I built you a respirator as well. Same HP. Whoops. Uh, same HP but now you're immune to poison and getting grabbed by seekers. Fantastic. So, we don't need an arc thrower even if it is aliens. I'm going to concentrate on killing power. Why do you still have a human grenade? I really hate that it doesn't just get rid of frag grenades. And CR's good to go. Doesn't have shaped armour, which is a pain, so he's going to have the same HP. But yeah, that's good. All right, let's go as is. I think it's XO enemies, because it's XO who were holding in that prisoner, I think. I've only done this mission once. I can't even remember what map it is. I remember the Annette one well because of the cutscene you get when you finish it, but this follow-up one... Oh yeah, sure enough, it's a unique one. Any special information? Aliens are holding Annette. Oh, so it is aliens. Okay, fine. So I should have brought an arc thrower potentially. And it's a unique map, it's also a uniquely shaped UFO from memory. It's a variation on the standard abduction one from memory. I think I remember this being quite hard as well. I can't... That's the problem with only doing enemy within content once, plus I don't even know for sure if I saw all the content available. Like all the additional cancel missions that added and whatnot, I don't know. Commander, strike I do remember doing this one. Oh, this is wrecked. The captives are being held in stasis, but the okay. aliens can shut down life support functions at any moment. Destroyer disarm. Controlled by a command console. If we can take it out, it'll give us a chance to bring those people home safe. Right. So we have to find we the console and objective. use the console. Yeah, I don't. I don't actually remember doing this one at all. I remember it being successful because I remember you get the three people along with the net. Right. Well then, let's move up cautiously. There's no turn limit, so I can take my time. Staggered advance, although oh, the UFO is right there. Alrighty then. We do our usual advance tactic. CR goes first because he doesn't benefit from cover anyway. If he sees anybody, then we react. If he doesn't, everybody overwatch. He's up to him. And we listen afterwards. I don't really want to move you up further than this, but. Hmm. Well, if we put you in the middle of the car, you won't get any flanks, I don't think. Ah, oh, you saw people. It's only thin men. That, that's fine. They can still do a lot of damage and they're accurate, but in terms of me being able to kill them... Oh. Apparently they're invisible. I seriously can't see them. Can I grenade the people I apparently can't see? Yeah, apparently I can. Okay, grenade the people I don't know exist. Well, I'm, I sure hope that I killed those people I didn't know were there. But there is one more. So, Amy will overwatch. Alex will move up and overwatch. Shoot through that car. Ideally without blowing it up, please. Fraser, I get the feeling this might be a long one, so I actually want you to hang back since you're my only healer. And you don't have fantastic HP. And Titan armor is a ways away yet. Is that a good enough position? I will actually overwatch with the pistol, even though it's slightly futile at this range. I was thinking of hunkering down, but he's probably going to acid. Oh, now I do have a turn limit, do I? Oh, if I do how many turns? Oh, 12 until they just execute everybody. That's brutal. That's a good miss. Alright, so I do... Yeah, I don't remember how this mission goes at all, clearly. Because I... I'm surprised by that. Alright, CR, move up, see if there's anyone else. So basically that means I can't sit still, I have to do an advance and it can't really be as staggered as I want. CR's max rank, so ideally I don't particularly want to get the kill with him. Who isn't max rank? 
Paul is way max rank. Ah, yes, right, okay, Michael Millward is not, so therefore... 82% chance to get yourself some XP, that looks on target to me. Fantastic. It's thin man XP, so it's not fantastic in terms of the amount he got, but it's good that he hit it. Although, considering his aim is better than mine. Right, so we'll run you up there. Don't see anyone, don't see anyone, don't see anyone! Good. Alex, you're going to have to run just to keep up. Stepping Run off. there, that leaves Fraser, you can move up to like there, you can be one of my overwatches. I don't think there's anything else close by, but CR can overwatch as well. Paul can move up to, oh there's no full cover is there? I, for, even though I'm usually left inclined, I like going around the right when I do these big a alien UFO types, I don't know why. Maybe it's because, no, I don't, yeah, maybe it's because my mouse is on the right. As I understand it, that's actually quite weird. Oh, and there's backup dropping in. That's crappy. As I understand it, it's actually quite an anomaly that I use my mouse in my right hand even though I'm left-handed, because apparently most left-handed people use their mouse in their left hand. But I guess it's just because at school the, the mice were always on the right. So he overwatched, but he's also invisible again. So I don't know whether I can move someone up safely without triggering the overwatch. So we're going to use Amy because she has lightning reflexes so she's immune. Do I want to run a gun though? It's unfortunate that she can't get side on because then she'll be flanked by that thin man. Hmm. Let's run and gun. Moving yeah, moving at the speed of death. Because I, ha I have the feeling there'll be something else close by. That was the only reinforcement that dropped in though. Right, she didn't actually get sight on him but she can overwatch. Now, if you move, Alex, you might get seen. It's really hard to tell. Well, let's test. Oh, you did get seen. Oh, I was going to say, why didn't it trigger? It did trigger. Apparently that hit, even though that very clearly misses, but whatever. So now we can turn around and shoot him and hopefully kill him. Yep, good. Maya clearly doesn't like what happened there. So we need to get Fraser over there to heal him. Her. Him, her. So we'll do that, heal him the next turn. That was the only reinforcement that dropped in, right? I was busy telling my story about being left-handed with a mouse in the right that I wasn't paying attention. I saw the one thin man, I think that was it. So, Guild Force Gaming moves up with a dash that leaves CR and he can... Well, we know there's no one quite there, so he's actually going to clear a bit more... A bit more room, because if he hears something, I want to know which direction the enemies are going to come from. Right, so he might hear something at turn end, and this is Paul he can move up to the corner there. Because again, I'm on a time limit here, I can't sit still. Reinforcements? No, we get a turn of rest, good. Right, so... He's obviously going to have to heal Alex's turn, but I'd rather they moved a little bit first, so I know that... If he goes there, that's a run move, which is fine. They don't see anything, they don't hear anything. That's just a normal move and he can heal him there. So at least they've covered some ground and they're still going to do what I wanted, which was heal up. Should be more than four. Oh, no, it's not. You need to get max rank quickly so your medkits do, what is it, like 50% more? You need to clear a lot of ground. That's as far as you can get, so that'll do. As awkward as it might be, I'm considering just plowing through the center. We can see our get that's just a regular move. There. Will you see anybody there? You do not. Overwatch. Paul's going to come around the side because he's got rockets and I want him to have a good line of sight. He, I don't think he'll... Oh, son of a bitch. They're heading right around the bloody corner. I'm glad again that it's just thin men but it's such a pain. They won't have any shots there though. Yeah. So Amy can move up a little bit and overwatch for when they come through the door. Oh and there's more bouncing in as well. Great. Where from? Excuse me, I'm getting shot by someone who can't be seen. Oh, hello there, Berserker Muton. That's an unfortunate position for you to be in. Oh, CR's taking reaction. It looks off target by a mile. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, so Amy better be able to see the person that shot her. Nope. That makes no sense. That's a glitch. So Paul can move up, he's got an alien grenade, so that's two thin men kills if they're close together. Oh, one was on overwatch. That's okay. And I don't think two of them were next to each other, unfortunately. Oh, 
well, they should hopefully back up. Yeah, so that's fine. They're, they'll have to move up before they can do anything else. Let me see here. How much have I got with that flank? 100%, I'll just go for the kill then. I was going to use the grenade, but because there's not two of them together, there's no point at all. Combat rush won't affect anyone from this range. No. Right, so Amy, the only person you can currently see is the Berserker Muton. I don't really want you to fight with him, though. I'd much rather you got the kill on the Thin Man. If okay. you need to use the grenade to do this, let's do it. He needs to die this turn. 44%, that'll be a grenade kill then. Screw you, shooting me when you can't see me. Oh, those are like humans in the floor there, whoops. <laughs> yeah, apparently there was two there. Strange. Okay, so what's the goal here? These three people, or potentially CR as well, need to kill this berserker. Every time one of them takes a shot, he gets to do a move. So we'll start with Alex, because he'll do targeting on him. So even if he misses, there's still a bonus, but he didn't, so that's good. 14 HP left, he'll get a free move, which is pointless because he's just going to move right next to her anyway. Yep. Which just means I have a 100% chance to shoot him in the face. Good. He's got 10 HP left, that means I am going to need to use CR because even with a... Oh wait, no, a critical snipe could do 10 damage. Yes! That means I don't need to waste CR doing this, I can keep him pushing forward to get the thin men. Alright. So yeah, after executioner, what does that mean? I can't remember what Executioner does. <laughs> oh, maybe it would have given him an extra shot if there was uh, someone in range. Well, either way, Fraser's going to have to go and heal Amy and Paul next turn. CR is okay. Those Thin Men moved, but they didn't go on Overwatch. So if he gets a shot, he didn't. But he can get an Overwatch, because they'll have to come forwards. They'll probably bounce up over there. Or around there. Uh, no Overwatch? I had some bullshit right there. Glad he missed though. If two of them line up there, I'll grenade. Oh, only one of them did. Okay, right. Fraser, you're fantastic movement. Can you get over? No. Alrighty. Wait, whoa, whoa. You have a shot? That's a bit of a weird shot. 29% chance to hit twice. You know what? Yeah, go for it. Fire twice. You're going to need to reload next turn. Doesn't matter because Fraser will be killing you anyway. Wow, the second 29% actually hit. Even though there is no way I should have got that shot. But I guess the the stage layout is a bit glitchy here because that's why the Thin Men was able to see Amy on the previous turn when there was physically impossible. Right, so this is the awkward bit for having a sniper because there's no good place for a sniper. And I think someone else is going to drop down this next turn too. You're not going to get very far in there, are you? Thin men would, would have to run past CR to get you here, so I think it's safe putting you there. Where did you lose 1 HP from? It wasn't poisoned, you're immune to poison. Huh. Yeah, I don't like the, the lack of ground I'm covering right now when I've only got 8 turns. Right, Paul didn't see anybody. Actually, I won't do that until I move CR because then you might get a shot. Let's move CR to here. Not quite fully into the room. We know there's still 2 more Thin Men. Like oh wait, we only need alive. to get right there? We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, that's so fantastic. I thought we had to get to the control room From in eight turns. That has to be the command console. Good. To save the captives, we'll need to either move in yes, I, I know. I, I'm, I can see it on the screen, Bradford. It's, it's fairly self-explanatory. Okay, so I technically could destroy it right now if I wanted, but because I could fire a grenade at it, but I don't remember whether that has some kind of negative effect, so I am going to... Because I have eight turns, I am going to walk up to it. Alright, yep, something else is dropping in. It's escalated from a thin man to a berserker, so what's it going to be now? Oh, and he's in the room. Yes, and it's a thin man again. So it goes like easy on you one. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, a berserker dropped on the roof. See, I please hit, that'll be very helpful. Nice, half dead already. Hmm. That's a truly bizarre place to put the berserker, but I suppose it's because it expects you not to get any good shots at him. So therefore he'll get to drop down and hurt someone. I can't remember how much damage they do. Uh, it's probably more than a chrysalid, I would say. And chrysalids did 8 damage. Right, Amy, you need to heal this turn. That's what was going on here. So, there you go. This, oh, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, this is going to hurt. I'm a doctor. Right, next. Michael Millward. Will you get a shot there? I don't think Paul's going to get a shot here. He might here, actually. Not on the Berserker, but the Thin Man dropped. Or did the Thin Man die? I've already forgotten. Oh, right. There was an Overwatch. 
No, wait, I didn't know he was there, did I? Well, either way, he missed, so... And he's flanked now, so he's dead. He's dead, dead, dead. And that means CR can use his shot hitting the Berserker. And all he needs to do is land a hit, because even if he doesn't get the kill, the Berserker will then move towards him, and that will put him in line of sight for Amy or... Who else have I not moved yet? Or Alex I haven't shot with. So CR, all you need to do is actually land the hit, although apparently you will maybe get the kill. Alright, he's on 1 HP. He should get a free move now. Yep, he's pissed. Oh, he's pissed. I actually forgot CR gets a free shot. Oh, you didn't move. Alright, well, don't miss CR. That was an 8% chance to miss, and he missed. 8%. And he's out of ammo. Uh, Alright, we're going to run and gun with Amy because I need guns on Overwatch now. In close range, I mean. And if they miss, someone might die. Right, so Overwatch, Overwatch, I don't think you're going to get a line of sight here, so move up slightly, Overwatch with the pistol is kind of like a last resort. He's got 1 HP. Someone can surely do 1 HP to him. Oh, the Thin Man might lure out the Overwatch. He's like, what are you going to do up there? Can you jump down? You totally can. <laughs> oh, he's having to do a run move. Oh, or not, he's just not doing anything. Have I done the animation for fighting with the Berserker yet? I actually think it gets your mech damage when you do it, I can't remember. But CR's out of ammo, so he doesn't really have a choice. Yeah, let's have a fist fight with the Berserker. Your stole is mine! Roar. Oh, it didn't damage me. Good. I could have sworn one of the fist fight animations has your mech get damaged in the process. Move you up there. Is the room empty now? I could have sworn there was one more Thin Man, and I'm just, like, spacing on where he went. Paul, where can you make with... Oh, you can get really close. Go for it. Next turn he can grab it. And there might be a turn of rest before any more reinforcements. Amy, you've got a run move as well, right? You can get kind of close, but not close enough. Get behind cover there. I need my sniper up there. Next. Oh, wait. Overwatch. Right, Fraser, you need to catch up. And your super movement allows that relatively easily. Where's Paul? Oh, I ran Paul all the way over. Right. Don't No, I don't want him to jump over the edge. I want him on the edge. There we are. That's such a fantastic move. I mean, I know it's a dash, but still. He didn't even care if the door was there. He just walked through it. Oh, there is a reinforcement dropping in. On the roof again? Commander, oh, no. I that console with explosives is a surefire way to make sure it'll be out of commission for good. I'd rather just walk up and press it. Can I do that? There now. Excellent work out there, right. Commander. We're reading zeros across the board on that device. Looks like you managed to stop the termination. Do we still sequence. have to clear the control room? Objectives up. Yes, we do. Right. All we need to do now is secure the area and eliminate any remaining hostiles. That should mean that no more are going to get dropped in, though, so I can line up for my push. It's probably going to be at least one sector commander. Amy can move there. Fraser, you need to catch up to do some healing next turn, so that'll do there. CR needs to reload, so just move him normally. Oh, did I misclick there? No. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, good. Reload! Alex, you can just run all the way there. Please don't see anyone on your left. Good. I think the only survivors will be in the control room, and I definitely need my sniper over there too, so get running. The snipers are your best friend when you have cowardly sectoid commanders with mind control. Reinforcements? No. Good. Okay, so we'll line up Paul. He might see something. He didn't. Good. That's actually preferable. Fraser heals him. Just so I don't lose my best man. Which reminds me, I really do need to get him the secondary heart thing that Taya got really soon. But I could do that after this mission. And we'll line up Alex. He might see something. No, good. So he's going to reload. I'm going to line up my sniper there. He's still going to need to move into the room to get shots, but that still counts as full cover even though it's half gone when it got switched off. Right, Mr. Mech, that's your professional name. You're going to stand right in the middle of the door and overwatch. Paul can overwatch. Amy can just do a normal move because I'm going to reload. I know she's only used the one bullet, I think, or maybe it's two, but either way. 
Right, hear something. Please hear something. No, because the alternative, if I don't hear anything in here, it means like it's outside the ship and I'll have to go looking and I could walk into a trap and I'd hate that. Right, this should give CR a good line of sight. If, if for nothing else, his grenade. But, oh god damn it, it's empty. It's god damn empty. Ah! Okay, we need to change what we're doing then. Amy, you're going to open up this door and see if you can see anything. No, but you might hear something, so we'll wait. Same on this door. Nothing so far. Maybe the room isn't clear? Move Paul to there. They'll hear something between turns for sure if it's like hiding down below and I just can't see it. We'll reload you. You will overwatch that door, you will overwatch that door. Hopefully one of them will hear something as well. Fraser will just wait to decide which side he's going to go support. Basically whichever side has the enemy and we can overwatch with the sniper. Right, somebody hear something please. Yes. No, behind. Oh wait, that's on the roof. No, he's gone. No, Fraser, uh, Michael, you don't need to fire. He's dead, he's long dead. Or you just mutilated the corpse. Okay, was he the last enemy? No, the music stopped though, so what does that mean? That means that somewhere outside this ship, and that's the edge of the map right there, somewhere outside of the ship is a unit of aliens that hasn't been popped yet. And they don't know I'm here either. So let's have a look out here first of all. It's clear. Okay. I really don't like splitting my team up. Amy can run back in though if she doesn't see anything. Or sees too much. Again, seems like this ended. So that means I've missed something back at the start, basically. That's irritating! Let's run you out this side. I'll, just because I kind of went up that side, well, what would be the right if I'd orientated the camera up this way? I've ran up this side, so if there was something outside the ship at that point, I probably would have heard it, so that leads me to believe it's on the far side, so I'm going to run back via that way. And we'll get my sniper out there, please don't see anything. Yet, anyway. Fraser, we can put you behind there, and let's get my mech out. Yeah, so this room is definitely clear, right? It must be. We would have heard something. And we'll get you out there. Is that everybody? Um, you can overwatch. I'm leaving her there on the off chance she hears something from that side just in case I've missed it. Let me overwatch, thank you. And overwatch. Overwatch. Somebody hear something. Oh, the music's back on. So something is close then. Hmm. I don't see any bioelectric skins going off. It could be someone on the roof, mind you. Actually, we can test that. Oh, the roof's clear. The roof is totally clear. Maybe over here? Strange. Alright, we're going to breach this door on the way back then. Someone else can line up with him. Amy doesn't need to stay over here anymore because I came from that route, so she can just kind of start catching up with everybody. Bring up the rear. Uh, yeah, I can, I can breach with a sniper. That makes perfect sense. Basically, can guard there, and Alex can, as dangerous as it is, is. No, don't go on the power source. Go right in that corner there on the off chance you see someone. No. Okay. Somebody hear something, maybe? Other than my Skype going off, of course. Alright, Paul, open the door, see what you can see. <laughs> Fat load of nothing. Give me that square, damn it. What? I hate the elevation there. Ah, ha 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 ha! We have a thin man on Overwatch. You bastard, you just had to do that before I kill you. Well, you're going to die now from the exact same way your fellows died. Goodbye, he'll be the last one. The odds were against us yep, this one. good. Still managed to pull through. The three remaining captives have been secured. These guys might be renameable, so I'll have a look at their stats. 
we do have new recruits for XCOM, thank you. I was going to say for free, but technically not. People got wounded there. So that means we won't be able to do the Exalt base immediately. I'm going to need to wait until some of my A-team come back. Leave to oh, or not. Off. <laughs> Excellent work, Commander. Max rank for Alex. So either two rockets or the one where your suppression does area of effect. Oh no, sorry, it does additional damage. Two rockets. Paul has two rockets. So let's try Mayhem. Low profile, that's all half cover counts as full. Yep, that's fantastic. Still one rank to go though. So we've got a lot of corpses, flight computers, surgeries and whatnot. Or, well, we only got the surgeries. We sometimes get food sources as well. They're all just junk you can sell. The abductees like Annette have offered to serve as XCOM operatives. Their mental acuity and some unique neurophysiological features indicate that they may be extremely high valuable, high valuable operatives. I didn't read that properly. So can I rename them though? The Oop, there they are there. Uh-huh. It appears that Annette and the other unique captives are capable of amplifying the psionic Oh, you can others, rename them. Allowing the aliens to exert mental control over a number of victims simultaneously. Unfortunately, He's got an astonishingly good base HP. Seven instead of like four or five. Caused significant trauma to her neural tissue. She will never have this specific ability again. Although she may still retain psionic aptitude. Headshots. Squad sight. Damn good ground. I have the same route I take with every sniper because it's too good. Yeah, so this guy has great stats. Like, really, really good. Also, I need to find my list of patrons who I haven't used for names yet. Excuse me while I move some things because I wasn't expecting to be able to rename these guys. And there are still many patrons to be given names to. There. Well, some. So, yeah, I might. I mean, he his stats are really. Oh, who's spamming? Let me go and busy for a second here because we're not done yet. Um, oh, it's so good having two monitors to be able to do this. There we go. So, if I give you this armor, that puts you up to 11 HP. I could give you a respirator, although I don't have one built, but let's just pretend this is a respirator. That would get you another 2 HP. I would need you to get your scope, though, to get your aim close to 100. We've got plenty of XO sniper rifles. Yo, you come with a pre-given nickname as well, Alecto. So if I had a scope for him, that'd be fine. Well, well, yeah, let's give this guy a custom name for now. I won't give him a custom color yet. I'll leave him. In, I'll leave these three as blue because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. So who can we use? Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, I haven't used Dragon Akis yet. So I could do that. So let's do that. It's not a proper name, but we can just go with first name Dragon, surname Akis. Oh, for goodness sake, I, I go on busy on Skype and then get Twitter messages on my phone. Right, so let's do the next one then. Said Turk, your base HP is 7 as well. Let me just double check base HPs here. Yeah, Amy started with 5, Mushmush was astonishing with 9. Yeah, Michael was 7. So 7 actually does seem kind of like a good average now that I see it. 5 is really low, so they've got good, reasonable stuff. Their stats aren't as good in terms of aim and will though, so I kind of just got lucky that, well, who is now known as Dragonakis started with pretty decent stats. But we can sort you out, so you are, oh god, another support! I'm sick of supports. Let's not give him Sprinter just because I probably am not going to use him, so who cares. Let's give him all the abilities I never use. Right, I don't think I even have any other male names at this point written on my bit of paper. Uh, not that I haven't used already. So maybe that worked out for the best. And you're an assault though, assaults are good. But I needed another one of them. So we go for our tactical sense, lightning reflexes, flush shot. Yeah, your stats are okay. Yeah, we lucked out that one of them happened to be a pretty decent sniper. Let's compare stats to Michael. So Michael is 83, 97. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad. But the point is with those three, they're guaranteed to be psychic. So that's the thing. What was the thing I was going to buy if I got any money there? I was going to buy something for someone and I can't remember what it is now. But let's get shaped armor, please. Fantastic. I can't remember what that does, but we have it. I think it improves CR's HP now when he's in his soup. I don't know if that will say here. Yeah, so he's now 
got 24 HP. I'm pretty sure that's another 4 or another 5 HP. His aim is ridiculous. So that's great. And we've got a rebate too. So are we close to finishing anything else? Plasma cannon in 3 days. Satellite. Psy testing is a ways away. Let's quickly do a foundry project and that's where we'll end this part. Improved pistol 2. Improved uh, jelly delirium, whatever, however you pronounce it. Don't really need that because it's for the flamethrower only, so that's 200 we can save, although there is an achievement for building every foundry project. This improves the med kits though, which is nice, 125, that would be half of what we have. Then improve the pistols, increase the aim of soldiers using a pistol. Or we could improve the mobility of shivs and mechs, but that needs 300, we're very close to 300. I'm going to get the 300 because we've got those two things to sell. Visit the grey market. Where are you? Surgeries. No value. Get rid of. All that has value. Does that give me enough? No. Was it 300 or 350? My memory is shot today, clearly. I can sell some of them. Sell some of them. Well, let's sell two more dollars on the off chance. The foundry, and we shall take our advanced servo meters. Motors, please. Five days. That's not too shabby. Good, so that sure did go well. And as soon as we've got some we might be able to upgrade to some plasma weaponry next time, so I'm glad we've got a little bit of funding left over and we have another satellite coming. And if everybody comes back from being wounded, or do we have everybody now? Oh, ideally I need to wait for myself to come back from psionic testing before I do the final exalt mission, but I guess we'll see because Michael is a good sniper as well. He doesn't have double tap though, and that's that could be big because I mean that's basically like you could technically get two kills per turn with that. I don't know, we'll see. Thank you very much for watching, there will be more XCOM Enemy Within coming, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Ta-ta for now.